Hello there, my name is Richard McMunn from the interview training company, PassMyInterview.com, and in this tutorial, I will teach you how to prepare for and pass a mechanical engineering interview. So it does not matter which organization or company you are being interviewed for to join as a mechanical engineer, I promise you that if you watch this tutorial from beginning to end, it will not only help you join your preparation, but it will give you top scoring answers to the likely interview questions that will come up. Now, before I go through the tutorial, a very warm welcome to this mechanical engineering training video. As I say, my name is Richard McMahon. That's me there in the center. And I've been helping people to pass their interviews for about 20 years now. And I do that by giving you great top scoring answers that you can't find anywhere else. Please do make sure you subscribe to the channel by clicking the red button below the video and then you won't miss out on any of the weekly training videos that I upload. And I would also very much appreciate your support if you gave the video a like. That always motivates me to create more content for you. Thank you very much indeed. So before I get into the mechanical engineering interview questions and top scoring answers, I'm going to answer a quick question that people ask me time and time again. And that is, how do I prepare for a mechanical engineering interview? Well, in a nutshell, you have to make sure you read the job description and the person specification whilst you are preparing for your interview. Now, this only takes a few minutes, but it will enable you to understand the key skills and qualities that are required to carry out that job. So once you've read the job description for a mechanical engineer, Think of situations that you have been in whereby you have already demonstrated the key skills and qualities needed to be a competent mechanical engineer. So, for example, in the mechanical engineering job description, it will usually list a number of essential skills. And some of those skills might be to solve mechanical engineering problems and also to work as part of a team. Now, during your preparation for this interview, my advice is to think of specific situations you have been in whereby you have already solved mechanical engineering problems and you have already worked as part of a team. So the interview question will probably be, can you describe a time when you've solved a complex mechanical engineering problem? Or can you also describe a time when you've worked as part of a team to complete a mechanical engineering problem or project? So that is the first tip when you're preparing for your mechanical engineering interviews to read the job description and the person specification and you will be much more prepared than the majority of candidates. So I'll give you some more tips as we progress through this tutorial, but let's now start to work through my recommended mechanical engineering interview questions and top scoring answers. So I will put the interview question up on the screen and I will then give you a suggested answer. So please do take notes as I go along, or if you want to wait, I will tell you at some stage where you can download my full set of mechanical engineering interview questions and answers. So question number one, tell me about yourself and why you want to be a mechanical engineer. Here is my top scoring answer. I am naturally an inquisitive person who enjoys working in a team environment where the ability to problem solve and collaborate with others is an essential part of the role. I believe I have a good balance of technical, analytical and practical skills that mean I am a strong candidate for this mechanical engineering position. I've always had a passion for mechanical engineering, which means I have a desire to go above and beyond what is required. I also understand how important safety is in respect of mechanical engineering. And on that basis, I am someone who is disciplined, organized and able to follow strict rules and procedures. I will never take risks or put your organization in danger through the work I carry out for you. I suppose the last thing I would like to say is I feel if you invest in me, I will repay the faith you have shown in hiring me by being professional, conscientious and a positive contributor to the mechanical engineering team. So that's an in-depth answer. It answers the question, tell me about yourself and then more importantly, why you want to be a mechanical engineer because you've always had passion for it. The next question is, what do you think are the most important skills to have as a mechanical engineer? Again, I will give you an answer to this question and you can take notes as I progress. I think the most important skill as a mechanical engineer is safety awareness and compliance. You also need numerous other technical and non-technical skills to be a competent and safe mechanical engineer. You need effective technical skills that are relevant to your field of engineering. 
including the ability to dedicate the time to continually improve and keep up to date with industry developments. You also need analytical and problem solving capabilities and accurate written communication skills. You will need concise and clear verbal communication skills, especially when speaking to non-technical individuals. Having the ability to work under pressure is also vital, as well as having great team working skills, whereby you are entirely focused on achieving the company objectives. Finally, a level of commercial awareness is an advantage because decisions have to be made from a financial and business perspective in order for the company to continually thrive and develop. So you give a large number of skills there that are very important to be a mechanical engineer. I like in particular the fact that you put safety and compliance as the first most important skill, which as you and I know it is. And then finally, you talk about commercial awareness, which is a skill that most people don't have. But as a mechanical engineer, it is important to have a level of understanding in respect of commercial and business awareness. So I've got a few more questions to run through, but let's answer another common question that I get asked in relation to people who are preparing for a mechanical engineering interview. And that is, what questions should I ask in a mechanical engineering interview? So at some stage during your interview, probably at the end, they will say to you, do you have any questions you would like to ask us? So it is good to ask some questions. Don't say, no, I've got no questions to ask. You've answered everything. I think if you ask some relevant and appropriate questions, it can work in your favour because it can show that you are keen and enthusiastic for work, to work for their company as a mechanical engineer. So the first question is, if I'm successful, what would you need me to concentrate on in the first few weeks of starting? So this question demonstrates that you are keen and enthusiastic to get started, but also that you want to know what you would be doing in advance so that you can prepare fully. Question two, what engineering challenges do you envisage the company facing over the next 12 to 24 months? So again, that shows that you care about their organisation, but also, and this is what I like about this question, is you're talking about a 12 to 24 month period, so you are planning on staying with them for a long period of time. Let's move on to our next mechanical engineering interview question. What steps would you follow during the mechanical engineering design process? Here is my suggested answer. I would start out by defining the exact problem. This is one of the most important steps because it's quite easy to misinterpret information and data and you need to make sure you don't jump to any conclusions. I would then carry out in-depth research to find out what the objectives were and this would also assist me in establishing the specific requirements for the engineering task or project. I would then consult with my colleagues and ex experts from within the organisation to brainstorm different ideas, evaluate the options and come up with the right solution to the problem or issue we were being faced with. The next step would be to develop and design a prototype before running a comprehensive testing stage to make sure our proposals meet the requirements. The final stage would be to communicate the outcome following an extensive testing period to make sure the design was actually fit for purpose. So that shows a concise and logical process that you would follow during the mechanical engineering design stage. Next question. How would you describe a technical engineering problem to a non-technical person? This comes up an awful lot during mechanical engineering interviews. So we need to think carefully about how we would answer it. Here's my suggested answer. This is a really good question and one that I envisage having to tackle many times as a mechanical engineer. I would first of all decide what the objective was in respect of the message I wanted to communicate. I would then quickly assess the level of knowledge or expertise the person I am communicating with has. I would then utilise simple, relatable drawings, diagrams or explanations to explain the engineering problem we were facing. For example, most people can relate to the simple function of a car moving forward by the rotation of an axle that is powered by an engine. So I could use the basic principle of how a car gets from point A to B to describe the problem I am trying to define. Regardless of the situation I was in, I would keep communicating clearly, simply and concisely until the person confirmed they fully understood my objective. So I've got some more questions to go through still, so please do stick around. But another question that I get asked by mechanical engineers, sorry, mechanical engineers is what should a mechanical engineer wear to an interview? Well, my advice is to wear a smart formal outfit to your mechanical engineering interview because 
This shows you take pride in your appearance and your work and also that you care. As a mechanical engineer, you have to have high standards. So although you wouldn't wear a suit or a formal outfit during your day-to-day -day work as a mechanical engineer, my advice is to go all out and wear something smart and formal. Now, that does not mean to say that you have to go out and buy an expensive suit. Far from it. You can still buy a relatively cheap or cost-effective suit and look smart. So my advice is to wear something smart for your interview for sure. Next mechanical engineering interview question. What are your strengths and weaknesses? Now, this question may be divided into two questions. What are your strengths and then what are your weaknesses? But I will answer it in one go. Here we go. My biggest strength is my ability to collaborate and work with other people to create innovative and safe mechanical engineering solutions. Another key strength of mine is that I'm able to work quickly whilst following strict rules, procedures and safety guidelines. In respect of my weakness, I only feel I have one which I have been working on to improve. That weakness is my inability to say no to new work or projects simply because I don't like to let people down. But as a mechanical engineer, it is important to take on as much work as possible, but you have to make sure the work you do is safe, compliant, effective and reliable. So I believe that's a really strong answer to that question, what are your strengths and also what are your weaknesses? Because that is a good weakness to give. It doesn't damage or harm your chances of passing the interview. It's essentially a safe weakness to give, in my opinion. So if you would like more, of my mechanical engineering interview questions and top scoring answers. There's a link that's appeared in the top right hand corner of this video. If you click that, it will take you through to my website, passmainterview.com, and you can download my full set of 21 mechanical engineering interview questions and answers, including the ones that I've just run through right now. I hope you've enjoyed that. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much. And please do give the video a like. As I said at the beginning, I very much appreciate your support on this channel. Thank you for watching and I wish you all the best in passing your mechanical engineering interview. Have a brilliant day.